This is the greatest motorcycle helmet I've ever owned, and I'd argue that this is the best helmet of 2024. A lot of y'all been asking me when you're gonna be able to get your hands on this helmet, and what's the pricing like? Is there a carbon fiber version? So this weekend, I traveled to Austin, Texas, and attended MotoGP at the Circuit of the Americas. And let me tell you, we had a great freaking time. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Adolo Moto, baby! in a couple days. doing it getting the clear i've been flying too much this year look at this we're bypassing the whole freaking line bro okay what a nightmare that was holy cow that shit took forever even with clear uh we gotta go find end gate end gate is always the one with the uh stupid shuttle ah! the last time i really wanted to go to Kota was when rossi was in his final season some of you guys know i'm uh I'm actually a huge Rossi fan. I'm a, I'm a Rossi fanboy. I'm a street Rossi. I freaking love Rossi, man. But now I get to go to Coda as a double moto, so that's still pretty cool. Alright, I'm actually downplaying it. Like, that shit is freaking awesome. But, uh, again, I wouldn't be here without any of you guys, so thank you so much. Hey, can I get a Merlot? Yeah. Ooh, it's wine time. Mm. Wine for the red eye. Water for the kidney stone. Kidney stone. All right, y'all. The plane is on freaking maintenance, and uh, we're gonna be here for a while. It's like 11:30. We made it to Texas. Oh my God, I am, I am sleepy. 518 in Austin, Texas. Two hours ahead of Washington. Oh my God, I'm fucking tired. Do you guys hear all those fucking birds? Holy shit. Right, it is about 615, we're headed to the track. Just got to the house where uh, everybody's staying. It's a big ass van. Okay, it's 6.30. Looks like we're headed to shipping and receiving. Guessing they need to pick up some equipment. Okay, I, I, I think we're at Coda, but maybe the shipping and receiving is here too. Oh, I see. Coda probably has a warehouse where companies like KYT Americas can have products shipped. Very nice. All right, we made it. Check this out. We're here. I guess the all I was like, just try it. <laughs> what you got, bro? Just busted my shin. Oh, Jesus Christ. They let you in? We told them to not let you in. Yeah, I told them I'm <laughs> racing today. <laughs> oh, they're like, oh, it's Marquez. Yeah, the resemblance. Filipino Marquez. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty cold for uh, for Texas, but I, I it's supposed to warm up, apparently. Uh, this is... This is the van that they travel in, and this is the warehouse where you get stuff shipped. Alright, we're taking off. Okay, oh, yeah. we're at some kind of plaza. I'm not sure, but uh, there's like an Alpine Stars tent over there. There's a Revzilla tent. There's some some bikes over here. Oh. The thing that sucks about drinking coffee is I, I gotta freaking pee all the time. Holy shit. Shysta. I'm gonna try to find the uh, restroom. Merch tents. The doctor. Sheesh. Restroom. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to be over here, but there's no, like, there's nothing blocking this place, so. Looks like we're, uh, at some bleachers. I think it's turn 12, but here we go. 
Oh my god, look at that sunrise. Hoo hoo. Beautiful. We made it. We made it to Coda. Let's try to get to the top. Look at that view, guys. My god. That's really cool. Coda is such a beautiful track. Oh my gosh, look at this. All right, we're gonna get out of here before we uh, get kicked out. <laughs> Hashtag Koa. <laughs> all right, we're here with Brandon from KYT. I flew all the way from Seattle to uh, support these guys because I believe in what they're doing. I haven't really had a chance to talk to Brandon yet. So, what do you do at KYT? Man? I'm the U.S. distributor. So I own Rise Moto, and we uh, started distributing KYT around the USA in 2021. So it's been three years or so. Yeah, about three years. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Why KYT? Uh, I actually got connected with KYT through Avali because I used to be the Avali distributor. So just happened to get connected to them and met TJ, who is like kind of our uh, liaison with KYT. And he just so happened to be Thai. I saw his name and I recognized it was a Thai name. So when I, he called me to set up our first meeting, I answered the phone in Thai because I speak some Thai from our other, we run motorcycle tours in Thailand as well, another business we own. It was like instant friendship. So that's, awesome. that's how we like, you know, that's how it all kind of came together. I love it. That's amazing. Can you give us a little bit of background on your motorcycle experience? So I uh, used to race. I, um, you know, been around the industry 15 years now. Um, a lot of people, you know, have known me from my days in racing when I raced the TT. I raced the Isle of Man TT for eight years. Well, I raced it eight times. I raced it for seven, six years in a row, and then I took six years off, and then I raced again in 2022. I went back. Um, so yeah, but I still do a bit of racing here and there. So I stay involved in the sport, and um, you know, I think. I'm probably one of the few people that own a company distributing helmets that's still like very involved because I still ride and race. Yeah. So I kind of keep connected with the community and the riders and the teams. It's a very humble answer. Like this guy, <laughs> and there's not a lot of people that can race at a competitive level, let alone race at a place like the Isle of Man. I'm not gonna get into that that much today, but again, that's a very, very humble answer for somebody who's actually raced in the TT. Let's get into KYT. What has been the biggest struggle with KYT Americas? Um, I would say the biggest struggle is because it's a new brand in the USA and not a lot of Americans, um, even people that follow the sport, sometimes people don't pay attention to what the helmets are that people are wearing or the logos. So the brand recognition and trust in the brand wasn't there to start with. What KYT does besides KYT that gives people some trust in the brand, because KYT is the largest helmet manufacturer in Asia. Produce, you know, somewhere around you know 10 million helmets a year. They also own Suomi, so a lot of people remember Suomi with like the wild graphics back in the day in the early 2000s. Um, so as soon as you do, you can connect that, you understand that okay, this brand, you know, they make another high-end helmet. Um, they manufacture everything in house in Indonesia. They use the best raw materials from Italy, Korea, America to produce these helmets. So it's. Um, you know, it's just been a matter of building the brand, the trust in the brand, the brand awareness, brand recognition, and that's been a, you know, it's been a process, and it's been th you know three years of you know working to do that and working with you know great people like you guys. So I appreciate that. That's that's I think it's any entrepreneur's journey is like here's a product that I want to show to the world. How can we build trust? And I think a lot of that is just time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So three years. How far do you think you've come? You know, the first year. What was that like? And then what is it like now? Oh, the first year, I think we sold like 50 helmets. Yeah, it was like we didn't sell hardly any helmets. And it was very, it was, I mean, I was still very busy uh, with other stuff with our, our business. Um, so it was a matter of just kind of, it was a slow roll, just figuring out, okay, how do we like, how do we do this? Because I, I had known, you know, the Ovali side of the business and motorcycles selling like, you know, it, that, and that's a very niche product in a niche industry so you know coming into the helmet scene it was brand new to me like running this kind of business oh, really? so yeah I didn't know anything about like I I mean obviously I raced I knew helmets but I knew nothing about like handling the distribution of the, this and like the, at, at this scale so it's been a learning process and um, I think we're we're doing so far we're doing a great job but it's not just like us as a company it's like I said working with people like you and my friends in the industry that really make this all possible so that's why like, I think it's um, important to mention that it's not like just a, a Rise Moto me thing. It's uh, everybody that is helping us you know, do this. That's and amazing. believing in what we're doing. And that's why it's important for me to stay like, and you know, everybody I work with, that you're connected with the industry and connected with the people in the, in the sport. Because I think there's so many other companies that you start to grow and then you get disconnected from that. Yeah, you know, that's what kind of 
brings upon your downfall, you know, where you're not, you know, you just disconnect from your end customer and your the people that are passionate about it. So you have to keep that passion. What is the future of KYT, you think? I just want to keep growing. I want to become like a, if you're in the motorcycle world and you ride, whether you're riding a sport bike, you know, a street fighter bike, a Harley, whatever, Enduro bike, like, you know, KYT, like, you know, you've heard of it. It's not a matter of like, oh, I never, it's, I want to be more of a household name. Um, so people, it's not a question of educating anybody on it at, at that, at that point, but um, you, you got to keep on your toes. You got to keep, you know, involved and active in it. So I don't see us like really changing anything we're doing. Um, just you know, keeping keeping at it and um, staying at the front of everything. How big is your team right now? Probably four or five employees at the moment. Some of them are part time, so it's very small. We're very much a small business. Absolutely. You know, we self distribute. You know, we handle everything in house from our marketing or you know, just said working with uh, our influencers. Like it's all like we handle those relationships very personally. Even the racers that we work with, it's all just like I deal with them on a one by one basis. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's a very personal touch, and we don't want to lose that. Like we don't have to grow 10x what we're doing now. I'm not like concerned about that. Everybody's got to make a living and you know earn earn some money. But getting rich isn't what I want. It's something you know. It's something that I enjoy. You know, like I want to enjoy what I do, be able to pay my bills, and you know stay connected with the people that I work with and have fun. Like that's what we do. You know, we have. If you compared us to anybody else here, I think we have fun. Like that's the point. Like we're ever joking around and working with people we like to work with and it's not a drag it's like this is cool oh yeah, yeah. absolutely and i feel like i wouldn't be here if the environment was such a corporate environment yeah. i just i came here to hang out and bullshit and talk about helmets and really just try to document what it is that they do and i hope i did a good job at you guys will see it in the video brandon thank you for your time yeah, i appreciate the opportunity yeah, thanks if you guys didn't know we'll just announce it now i am officially going to be working with with KYT and thank you for welcoming me into your family oh, you're, and you know it's your family now yeah I mean yesterday I was you just also, fucking you to, just you tired to get away from I now. know <laughs> I was just so fucking tired yesterday yeah. dude I was just like oh my god but I look forward to hanging out with you guys in, in, in the future definitely whatever's future whatever's it doesn't yeah. have to be KYT it can be yeah. whatever the fuck, yeah right? you'll be so. in Thailand with us soon ah uh, yeah it's gonna yeah. be fun so yeah. thanks man cool appreciate thanks, it bro. I want to know. Hey, Ray, we'll get a picture with you and your Denver Denver Broncos. <laughs> and get a picture of the us. video. The video. Hey, you, you see those white those white guys? Ask I'm me a why. DJ, I'm DJ. a POC. Who's the Denver Broncos quarterback? Dan Marino. Oh, Dan Marino. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Italian guy. He tried to bully me just because of I wear Denver Bronco. That one. Sure. Carbon slider. You made me a get the uh, KYT element. I did. Yeah. Oh shit. Like I saw your video. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew that. That's what's up, man. What's your name, man? Hi, Rogelio. What is it? Rogelio song. Rogelio? Yeah. That's me, bro. What do you think, man? Uh, is it worth the hype or what, bro? I think so. Uh, think I so? think so, too. Right here. I have mine. Yeah. Damn, you two brought the bike. That's going to have to be the next that white one. Yeah, that one. You look like an XL, bro. You got a big XL. Damn. God damn, bro. I'm getting roasted by a dough boy. Yo, for real, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's the right fit. Oh, yeah. I love the way this hugs. That's yeah. it's, it's nice and tight, right? Mine, yeah. yeah. That feels a lot better for the K6. Mm -hmm. How do you like the ear? It fits better than K6S as well, because it pinches my ear. Oh, bro. My helmet or mine, the uh, KYT? Mine hurts my ear. Oh, bro. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. And it's large as well. Which one do you got, man? The... TT Course or? The... NZ Race? NZ, yeah. NZ, NZ nice. nice. That hurts your ears? Yeah, I put it on and like it pulls my ears wow. on. Whenever I take it off, You it got hurts. them weird Mexican ears, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I got them funky ears. Bro. Yo, it's all good, bro. It's all good. My son got it, too. Yo. It's all good. Check it out, man. Look at these, look at these rotors. <laughs> it's straight carbon. Like just carbon material. That's like that's like a big ass brake pad. Holy shit. I wanna take it home. I wanna sell my bike and yeah, that's a get this one. Oh. Do you do YouTube? Do I do YouTube? Yeah. What's your name, bro? Josh. What is it? Josh. Josh, do you ride? Nah, not yet. Not yet? Yeah. You will, bro. Yeah. I've what been do? talking about getting a bike for two years oh. now. What do you, you think about getting? Jigs one thousand. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. CPR. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Tyler and Keenan, they're here at the KYT booth. I filmed them a little bit. What did you think of the KX1? The KX1 was super good. I liked. It was definitely the lightest helmet I've tried today, and I've tried a bunch of like the Alpine Star, the HJCs, and all of those ones. Definitely the lightest one, and I could feel. I didn't get quite the right size today, but I definitely feel like if I got the right size, it'd be something I'd be buying today. What are you riding in right now? I'm riding in oh like a. I think it's a no. 
Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it is. Something cheap? Something cheap. Okay, yeah, gotcha, something gotcha, cheap. Gotcha. I bought at Cycle Gear okay. uh, when I lived in Texas a couple years ago, nice, and I've just been rocking it. Nice. But uh, he got uh, the Alpine Star helmet, and I was like, oh man, I've been yeah, yeah. keeping myself out. Yeah. It's and they, like, well, the crazy thing too is that this these ones felt super good, and they're like $200, $300 cheaper. Oh, yeah. And that was like, that was what nice. Did you pay, like $1,200 for that? Nine. Nine? Nine. Okay, so you got it. On the pre-order? Yeah, I got yep. it. Because nice. there's 1,200 now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, really? Yeah. A lot of people have been coming up to me and they're like, yeah, that's like 1,500 bucks. I'm like, no, no it's, it's like eight. Not. Yeah. 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 So I, I'll probably, and it's 10% if you pre-order. Yeah, apparently. That's what he was telling me. I was like, oh man, I might be the one I'd be snagging. All right, we're going to go walk around. It's getting hot. Come here, Alpine stars. Old race suits. So these are the ones I was looking at on Amazon. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. That is so comfy. Check it out guys, it's Aaron Colton. Stunter builder extraordinaire. Bro, oh my God, look at this guy, bro. Isn't this the most beautiful man you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm here supporting a couple riders, so you know I, I do physical therapy and I do uh, fitness training. Uh, I can't tell you who I'm here for. Sure. But I'm here for a couple people helping out. That's very cool. And, uh, yeah, it was like my first time out here at Coda, so uh, oh, yeah. I am having a good time. Oh, yeah. What was your name again? Matt. Dude, dude, so dude, nice dude, to meet dude. you, man. So happy to run into you, dude. Oh, yeah, so, man. Love you. All right, brother. Later. Uh, I love running into people. They're so nice. Dustin? Yeah. Tormented vet. Yeah, it's my son, Riley. Riley? There's no fucking way. Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, I'm and here, man. It's like, I told him it's like, find that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here walking around, bro. I appreciate the support, hey, absolutely, man. man. Yeah, man, my fellow, my fellow vet right yes, here. Right. All right, I got to meet some more people, man. It's crazy. I love Coda. I love Texas. Every time I go to a new state, I tell my wife I want to move there. I want to move to Texas. <laughs> All right, guys, we got Angel. What's up, man? What do you ride, bro? Uh, I don't ride anything at the moment. Not yet, okay. Bro, college student, I can't afford one. Oh, no, you will one day. We're getting one day. There. What are you studying, bro? Uh, human resource management. Nice, that's a great job, man. <laughs> I graduate May 10th. So Congrats, done. you're a senior. Yeah. Oh, my God. I teach seniors. Really? Yeah, I'm a college professor. Oh, oh you didn't know, huh? Didn't. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just an idiot on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so this whole thing has like a path that goes in a huge circle. This is like a little public viewing platform, so let's go check it out. What do you ride now? Uh, R6. <laughs> no, my helmet. Oh, um... Shit, what do I have now? Um... You don't fucking know what helmet you ride now? No, no, it's yeah. not. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You, don't you, so you, you don't know what helmet you're riding? It's the pressure. I didn't rip the helmet. How you doing? I'm sorry, brother. Thank you, staff. You recognize it? Watch your videos all the time. Oh, what's up, man? Big fat. You gonna get it or what, man? I'm looking at the KYTs because of you. I know, I know. I know you are. I know that's why most of you guys are here, but what do you think, man? You held it, right? You held oh, it in your it's hand, great. bro. I love it. Did you try it on? Yeah. Good. How much do you think it should be? Do you think it should be four seven hundred? It, it, it's definitely not a seven hundred dollar helmet compared to the to the AGV. Yeah. When you, when you look at the full carbon AGV compared to this guy, it's not even close. Yeah. I asked the guy earlier. I was like, "What do you think they're they're worth?" He's like, "Aren't they like fifteen hundred? I'm like, "Nah, yeah. bro." That's exactly it. Yeah. It's crazy, huh? No, I I, I don't uh, I don't track too often, so. It's not. A, I'm not. A, I'm not a racer, so that's not the helmet for me. It's probably the. Uh, yeah. the uh, NZ race. Yeah, the NZs. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep the camera on until they tell me to stop. <laughs> it. Yeah. We got Mallory Dobbs, <laughs> female hey. American World Superbike soon to be champ. Let's go. <laughs> She's got this. We'll see what we can get away with today. If not, I got my GoPro in my pocket. This is my Hello. my my little right. brothers. Nice Hashikon, he's Hello. a new guy from Honda Team Asia. Nice Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi. She races in World Superbike. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, so in the, women, the Women's World Championship. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello, <laughs> how are you? Okay, hey guys, this is my friend yeah. Stefano. He's a... Hi. He's Hello. an Italian guy. He's a, he's a helmet technician. So, uh, what do you guys will wear? 
and what we're gonna have it in the US is the exactly same that we use in MotoGP. This one is for Augusto Fernandez and uh, for us we provide exactly same. Like Mary, she will go to the World Superbike, right? Only the first American woman who race in the World Superbike this is the exactly the same one that you will wear. But in the World Superbike, we have another technician, right? Maybe... Uh, sometimes me, sometimes John. Yeah, sometimes you and sometimes John. If you see her, just, you know, you can ask <laughs> Stefano, right? If yeah. he said no, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> like you, Cooper, the one that you have is the prototype yeah. that we test in MotoGP for two years. And uh, as you can see, this is like how we prep the helmet and inside this container, Stefano will be every round around the world with his, you know, fancy stuff. We do the fitting for the MotoGP racers and also we are the R&D. For the new one, it takes about two years. We test two years in MotoGP before we plan to launch next month. May I? Yeah, so like this one is from Bastanini. Yeah. So it comes directly from there, you clean it all up, dry it Yes, out. and yeah. sometimes we have to replace, let's say that this weekend the weather is good, right? Yeah, so yeah. we don't have to worry much. But if, let's say, if, uh, let's say like two years ago, it's possible rain. So we have to prep another helmet for the wet grass. Yeah, yeah. So what's the difference in between the dry and the wet helmet? Mostly from the visors, yeah. from the pin lock. And, uh, you know, we try to uh, make it best, especially two or three years ago, the humid in Texas was pretty bad, you know. So that's KYT. That's, that's where we're from. KYT. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> Does Suomi sell this version? Yes, because for Suomi, we focus the market in Europe. KYT, we focus the market in Asia and uh, Americas. Uh, but it's the exactly same. It's like, you know, it's like, it's depend on where we want to promote the brand. But we are the owner of Sony for like 10 years. What's the Sony version called? Uh, the S1, right? Movie. Yes, S1 XR. Okay, so you guys know the KX1. That's the exact same helmet that I have. Obviously, there's not as much personalized fitting, but I think you kind of have to appreciate that these helmets that they're selling to the public are the same helmets that they're racing in the world championships. Hey, dude, he's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I found my dad. <laughs> Oh my dad. Yeah, his, your white dad, your, yeah, he's, your you know, Caucasian dad. You guys can't tell that uh, we're related, but this is my long we're both, lost we're father. We're both first timers here, right? That's just right, excellent, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Both versions, we just got... I love uh, this guy. We popped our cherry today. You're calling me dad. I, I say you're my brother from another mother, basically. Oh, I, I love that. I love brother. your mama, too. You do? Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Next year, I'll bring her. Jason, Julian. Julian? Yeah. My son's name? Julian. Your little daughter, man. Ah, uh, you Come love her? On. Yeah, Ollie. When you cook up with her? Oh, I love it, too. Yeah, she loves you being on camera. Yeah, you get me with that, man. Yeah, she loves being on camera. Um, Ducati, Quebec? Yeah, Montreal. Uh, Montreal. Yeah, Montreal. Canada, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, very nice. So, Montreal's in Quebec, which is one of the provinces in Canada. Got and now they just opened up another flagship store in T.O. in Toronto, which is sort of the capital very province of Canada. Very cool, man. But if you come to Montreal, we'll show you a good time. Okay. I got that on camera, so yeah. if he doesn't come back with the milk, look for him. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come in the summertime. I will, so we can ride. So we can actually ride. All right. Yeah. I lose them too. That's great. Yeah. We'll get them a couple bikes to try. I was just telling Jason how humbled I am when you guys come up to me. I absolutely welcome it. You ever see me in public? Don't be a fucking weirdo. I know you know me because you're eyeing me like this, pointing at me. Right? This guy stopped me in the middle of my taco. Yeah. Don't feel really bad. Though. Don't feel bad. I fucking love it, man. It's my wife says I love attention. So, there you go. Thank you for sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> he feeds on that. Yeah, I do. I love it, man. All right, guys, it's Saturday. We're headed back to the track. Day one was a ton of fun. Did get pretty hot. A lot of people were saying it's cooler, but I came from like 50, 60 degrees to like 80 degrees. Let's go. Here's my friend Haley from, uh, from Revit. Hi. What's up? How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good, good. I just got here. What is this? FZ09? MZ09? Yeah, what is this? Uh, 
uh, base off of guys. Oh, nine hundred or XSR. 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 Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very cool. Joe, we met at Aim. I'm here. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. How you doing, man? All right. This is my first time here. That's pretty fun. Why the XSR in the first place? We chose the XSR nine hundred because it was also the new version or generation okay. that came out with Yamaha. So Yamaha is the main sponsor of this project, and with it being on the Heritage line. It worked out because we were able to bring in an 80s influenced race bike and apply it to their new platform. Very cool. And uh, it's with the Yard Build program, which is where they sponsor uh, the custom motorcycle scene. So they'll reach out to different people to, yeah, use their creative vision uh -huh. uh, with with their different models. Very so, cool. Yeah. Very cool. So the XSR 900 though is a really really fun bike and. Uh, so it's a perfect platform for creating this. Yeah. yeah. So I've seen people cafe, yeah. you know, XSR, they put all in suspension. So we started the process maybe about two years ago, year and a half ago. Yeah, about a year and a half. year and a half ago, we um, actually built one bike before this that we unveiled the... Uh, bike Jet Show in London. Yeah. My name is Dragos. I uh, run a company called Strange Industries. We do custom motorcycles. Um, exhaust systems, uh, and a few other hard parts. My name is David, and I am the founder of Croy, Cafe Racers of Instagram. And uh, from just doing all the social media, I was trying to figure out, hey, how can we do a project that gives back to the community? So from that came Built for Good. And so the name Yard Built for Good, Yard Built is the whole custom program with Yamaha, and it just worked out where it's Yard Built for Good for this project specifically. Uh, but yeah, the whole idea is how do you build motorcycles with uh, the motorcycle community, talented builders that have like a really good creative vision or can bring something unique and then give it away for clean water, which is the most universal need. So that's Waves for Water. That's the nonprofit that um, this, this is going to benefit. And then hopefully we can go volunteer and ride to rural parts of the world then and have like a reason to do so. So like how do we have impact while doing the things that we love? So these guys are just a couple of builders, which is very cool. And I think, you know, we need more people in the community for the community. And that's kind of why I'm doing a double moto is, you know, to share my experiences, not only that, but to share some of my knowledge. Um, again, I don't know everything, but I hope you guys learn something from the videos that I create or the content that I create. And I hope, you know, you guys get to see the world of motorcycles from my eyes. <laughs> there goes Keith. No, I was over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just yeah. revving. I'm wearing a pair right now. Oh, okay. Same thing. It is getting hot out here, bro. DJ! No, I'm Amatuales. Oh, uh, hello, Asian guy. Hi, I'm Amatuales. <laughs> this is your first day here, bro. Huh? Yeah? Yeah, first day. How do you like it? Great. Nice and hot. Nice and hot, yeah. yeah. It is nice and hot. Caleb. Caleb, you really nice me out, man. Where are you from? Uh, we live in Utah. I, I stopped watching GP when all my heroes stopped great riding. You know. I mean, Valentine, Rossi, Rossi K like so like uh, okay, it went I went Stoner, Aiden, right? All the greats and then I was like, okay, Rossi's still racing. I'll watch Rossi. And then when he stopped, I was like, okay. All right, we made it into the paddock, so I'm waiting for Keith. I'm gonna go take her to the uh, to the helmet engineers. Also, we got Victor Moto right here. Say what's up, bro. What's up? Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna try to visit him. Uh, May 25th. Yeah. Is this is this for official? Real. For real. Is this official? Okay. So Let's... many things, but you know what? We gotta just make do it official. It. If we I come, you it. just make it, make it official. That's right. Okay. So tell Let's him. do it. May 25th, grand opening at Motor Club Los Angeles with the Adobo. The second Key, location? Key Roddy 650E. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the new location. New location. New okay. location. We moved from Santa Monica to essentially Culver City. Okay. All so. right. We'll make an announcement on the socials. Yeah, we're gonna blow it up. All right, bet. Finally. Yes. Back at the secret location. <laughs> okay, I gotta try to remember where it's at. Somewhere in the back. Every time they get off the track, the helmets come here. Yes. Okay. Then we pick up the helmet and uh, come back, share, check everything to make sure that it will be ready for the next press cool. and the right. next press. So, what was your name again? Michael. Michael. Yeah. Paul. Okay, so so Michael stopped me. He was like, oh, Dobo. I'm like, oh, snap. Uh, he was carrying a really cool suit, so I wanted to see if I could interview these guys real quick. Michael, what is it that you do? Um, taking care of doing the service for the um, non-sponsored riders that we, uh, as Revit, support. 
Uh, one of them, Augusto Fernandez. So, I think we do overseas. I've got a suit over here. Um, All right, cool. Just for qualifying. Um, so, dry, clean, make sure airbags are working. Um, just make sure they are safe and comfortable on track. How often do you check them? Uh, oh, every day, at least. Beginning of the day, end of the day. Um, sometimes between the sessions also. It depends a little bit what happened, what kind of conditions are. Uh, with the humidity or very high temperatures, then also between every session. Very cool. So, uh, you know, we got a little, uh, tried to do some little repairs, crash of this morning, from mode two. What are the repairs that you do? How extensive yeah, a repair? Overseas, it's very uh, limited what you can do. Okay. Uh, because in Europe, we have our own truck, where we have a stitching machine and uh, a lot of more repair stuff. We have all colors of leather and everything, so we can do a exchange of complete sleeve, for example. Uh, but here, we, uh, it's very limited to some paint and all the badges I have with me. So then I put some new sticker on. So I first did the paint uh, and then I put the sticker on. And, and it's not as nice as a real a repair in Europe, but at least he can, for qualifying, he doesn't wear, want to wear a new suit. So we do our best to make it look like uh, new again. Very cool, yeah. very cool. How do you know when it's done? Like when it's far beyond repair? Two things. It's, the looks have to be, of course, because the sponsor are paying money to be good on the suit. So right. that's that's one. And, and safety, of course, that's the most important. So when there are really like holes uh, in it, or I see that stitching, the stitches are really damaged, then I'll say, okay, sorry, but... So you don't fix the stitches? No, here, no, no, no. Because I don't have a stitching machine with me. No, no, so that's... Uh, but in Europe you do? In Europe we do, yeah. Because there we have a, we have a double layer uh, truck. Um, and we have a stitching machine there, so we can really uh, do the uh, replace a complete sleeve or parts from uh, from a suit. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. that's what I was. My next question is like, oh, do you guys actually replace certain yeah, sections? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, because we have all colors of uh, leather we have in, in our truck, and uh, all the logos we have as badges. Right. So what you see now is that we the new technique. We print everything. Where in the past you see every sponsor is a badge, and now now we print. So we take a red leather and we print all the logos on it. Gotcha. It's mandatory to, to race with the airbag. Yes. So uh, also make sure that they are working and serviced when they have explode. So can we see the airbags? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe can possibly show you. It's built into the suit? Yeah, it's built in the suit. Very cool. So it's like a, uh, it's a fest. So we have the inner layer of the suit. And I have to take, there we got it. Ah. It's an integrated one with a um, back protector. Is this one available to the public or uh, different? Not exactly the same. Not exactly the same. Uh, gotcha. Because the customer one looks looks nicer. <laughs> <laughs> this one is really it's function uh, functional. Yeah. Functional. Yeah. Wow. Look yeah. at that. So this is the airbag. Amazing. Um, so it covers the complete back, uh, shoulders, and chest area. Gotcha. And these are the the bags that inflate inside. Yeah. Here. Yeah. It's like it's, it's, you can feel it protects it. It's yeah. like like from a car. Exactly the same. Gotcha. Yeah. And this this kind of hides in the hump. Yeah. 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 So um, okay, I made a video about in the past about the hump. Um, what is? I said the purpose of the hump was one was aerodynamic. Yeah. And then two was to hide electronics for airbags or no? Yeah. It started all with aerodynamics. Started yeah, aerodynamics. Yeah. 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 And Not necessarily for safety. No, 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 because... Not for safety! <laughs> no, 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 because if, if you see what we use, it's just a... Uh, little bit of padding? Yeah, yeah. And it's, oh, that's a, that's a really dense foam. Yeah, yeah, and it's really to, to keep the shape. Keep the shape uh, yeah, yeah, for aerodynamics. For, for, for aerodynamics. And then not for safety. No, not because no. This, this is where the safety is coming from. Thank Back you so protector. much. I appreciate you. So, now we have clarity from somebody who works in a MotoGP <laughs> paddock on an actual suit that the hump this hump right here is not made for safety. It's for aerodynamics first, but now it's also to hide yeah, some of the electronics. Yeah, yeah, to hide electronics. Also, um, for example, what they use in MotoGP is the um, shoulder cams, for example, gotcha. and also those electronics they put in the, in the, hump. In the hump. Yeah, yeah. And I know that there are some brands who use, of course, different kinds of um, airbags, and some they really put all the canisters inside, and, right. and, and so it's now it's really also a place to to put the electronics of the airbag in. Yeah. So storage and aerodynamics. Storage and aerodynamics, and the camelback. The guys who are riding with a um, camelback. Water. Yeah. They also, they use the water, in, and then the right. bag of the water is inside the speedo. Right. So um, 
Now, because we also sometimes, some riders use a very high speed up, very, some a very low one, really depends on the brand of helmet, uh, position on the bike. And so that would say, if it was protection, that would say if you make it smaller, then you have less protection. So, and Makes I know, sense. And, and sometimes we use material like, like this also to save weight. Yeah, so, no, no. makes we, a lot of sense. No, no, no. So the protection is, of course we use shoulder uh, Pads, protectors, yeah. elbow, uh, knees, hips, and the back protector. But uh, it's really aerodynamics. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for those. <laughs> <laughs> Myth busted. Thank you so much, um, Michael from Revit. Yeah, yeah I right. appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thank you welcome. so much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for everybody. Enjoy your uh, your movie. My shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. All right, guys. I want you guys to meet somebody like extremely special. This is the guy that's out there taking all the photos. Introduce yourself. I'm Nate Newberry, Newbie Media. I don't take all the photos, just here at Coda. Okay. But yeah, I handle all the uh, social media stuff. Getting some good shots today. Yeah. Pretty excited. So, that one is nice. looking good. That's sick, man. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Ducati Island. I guess it's free, so you don't have to be special to get in. Yeah, yeah. This guy, hold on, hold on. Is that your guy? Y'all know Double Moto? Double, yeah, Double Moto. Yeah. I know him too. Wow. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Double Moto, <laughs> baby! <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, I can't like to meet this guy, man. Holy like, shit, bro. Him, How you bro. Been, man? Hey, good to meet you, dog. Finally. Yeah, finally, yeah, finally, yeah. finally. How long are you staying out here? Uh, we're doing the track day with the Perry on Monday. So oh, then bet, Tuesday we'll leave. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How y'all doing like You're that, half man? my size, Hey, y'all coming there. Who looks bigger? Y'all let me know. Me or Dumbo, man? <laughs> Dang, okay, there we go, that's true. Hey, he been in the gym. God damn, gym, oh so. my god, dude, holy shit. <laughs> right. uh, she's gonna be there with you. Oh, you gonna be out there on Monday? Yeah. yeah. Let's so, go. Let me show you how you there, now. <laughs> this is Mr. Track Day. Mr. I know, I know, right bro. Mr. I know, oh, no, I gotta, I gotta go do hey, this shit. Exposed, right here, y'all see it. Oh. You, you didn't want the smoke on the track. Uh, I caught up with the homie, Dylan, aka the homie. Fast Lane D's Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> And dude, so I've been wanting to link up with this ball for a long ass while. Yeah, right God damn, bro. Y'all think he's all nice? I'm just trying, man. I'm just trying to fucking like get my get my gym on, man, so I can ma <laughs> hey, you match this motherfucker's hey, level, you look bro. Thick, no homo, oh my bro. god, yeah. Good. No diddy, bro. No, no, no diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stupid. <laughs> Okay, but nah, man. Hey, it, man. this guy is like, I, and I always tell people because people are like, oh, why, why are you clowning on D? Why are you clowning on D? I'm like, I know he's just messing around. Yeah, man. man that's I, my I, homie, I'm man. impressed about it, man. Yeah. You'll be sending me like, oh, what do you think about this? I'm like, I know no, he's digging he around. <laughs> hey, you do that with people you like. You know what I'm saying? If he didn't like me, he wouldn't be fucking with me Dylan's like that. Right, so, 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 there we go, man. I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate it. He's going to the paddocks. We're going to go back to the booth, and I'm going to shut this off because I'm going to talk to him about the helmet. We're back in the TYT band. I am with Michele. That's right. That's okay. perfect. Okay, perfecto. Okay. <laughs> so I'm uh, the KWT importer for Canada. Uh, I have a company called U Race. So we do import for KWT. We promote anything that is racing, of course, uh, down there in Canada. How long have you been an importer? for KYT? Uh, for the past uh, four years uh, approximately. And so we started of course at the same time that Brandon uh, uh, here in the States. So uh, it's a little bit different in Canada. You know, our market uh, is cold for a year, but yeah, we're getting there. A lot of people keep asking me like, where can I get the KX1 in Canada? This is your guy. <laughs> this is your guy. It's starting to be available. Okay, I apologize in advance. Uh, the mic was not plugged in. The sound from this clip was actually coming from the camera, which as you can tell, it's freaking horrible. But this is Michele, and you can follow KYT Canada's on Instagram for all you guys that have been wondering where to buy KYT helmets up, up north. Michele, mi dispiace. We'll get you in another interview in the future. Okay, that ends this visit to uh, MotoGP at the Circuit of America in Austin, Texas. I had a great time. Everybody that came to say what's up, I appreciate it. Got to meet Fast Lane D. I hung out with Miss Kira T. Hey, you're in the vlog, bro. Hey, you're in the vlog.
fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he was eyeballing me, bro. I just know when people. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for the hospitality. Austin was dope. My wife said, don't tell me you want to move to Texas. <laughs> but yes, I want to move to Texas. It's a beautiful state. I, or just come back and visit. I need to see more of it. Uh, two days was not enough, but I got shit to do. See ya! So, what is the price of this helmet? And when the f*** are you going to be able to get it? So, this base KYT KX1 is going to be 700 bucks. And the carbon fiber version is 850 bucks. And, of course, there's going to be a few different liveries. So, expect that pricing to be somewhere in between. And, finally, I wanted to address something. A lot of y'all been wondering why I've been pushing this helmet so much. How much is Adobo getting paid? They must be paying him a bag. And that's far from the f***ing truth. See, if you've been following me for a long time, you know I love promoting excellent products. But the KYT KX1 is not just an excellent product. KYT Americas is also a small team of passionate motorcycle riders just like you and I. And unlike these corporate weenies at Aprilia, the team at KYT Americas sees the value in what I do. So I'm proud to announce that yes, a double moto is now part of KYT Americas. And if y'all don't like it, y'all can kiss my fucking ass. Also, there's no double moto promo code. You're not gonna get a discount. I still think this helmet should be a thousand bucks, but those are the prices. Take it or leave it. The KX1 will be available sometime in May and the carbon fiber version sometime in July.